Hi. This series of videos will help you work through an assignment that you have for this course, which is to read a chapter from Hanging Out, Messing Around, and Geeking Out, and then using the bibliography that shows up at the end of that book to consult some of the sources mentioned in your chapter to continue your own research. Now I'm just going to scroll down a little bit into your book just to get to any really page at, at random to show you how these uh, references to the bibliography show up within the text of the chapter itself. And you notice as we, we look through here uh, you see a lot of names and dates in parentheses and these are all references to works that show up in the bibliography. So for example in this section right in the middle of the page where it says, and I'm going to pick up in the middle of the sentence, that are based on different modes of participation in media cultures, then open parentheses Jenkins 206 and parentheses. What this is telling you is that if you go into the bibliography, which is arranged alphabetical by author, and look up Jenkins, you'll see a work that was published in 2006. And within the bibliography, you'll have more information about what that work actually is. So I'm going to now jump down to the bibliography in your book and try to find an entry for Jenkins from 2006. And indeed, I see one that's Jenkins, Henry, 2006, Convergent Culture, Where Old and New Media Collide. And that gives me all the information that I would need to then take the next step, which is to actually find that resource and perhaps read it and uh, integrate some of the things that I learned into my own research. Now, since we're in the bibliography right now, if you just look through it, and you've probably had this experience before, many people have trouble by just looking at entries in the bibliography uh, to determine what type of resource it is. And in general, there are four different types of things that you might find in a bibliography. You might find a citation to a full book, or you might find a citation to a chapter in a larger book. You might find a citation to an article in a journal or magazine, or you might find a website. These videos will help you quickly identify what sort of resource it is just by looking at the entry and then taking the next step of actually finding that resource so you can make a determination whether it's worth your time reading it and integrating that information into your own research.